Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about budget suspension options for your Toyota Tacoma. I'm going to start all the way at the cheapest option at $500 and end up at $3,000. And all those budget options include a set of front and rear shocks as well as something to lift the rear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and most of it's going to be done on a screen recording with a voiceover just because it's the easiest way for me to show you what websites I'm going to and the prices that I'm getting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I encourage you to hit that red subscribe button and give this video a We're just up. gonna go right ahead and one take this entire thing talking about all these different budget suspension options. I've tried out most of these parts before so I know them and that's why I'm recommending them to you. The first one we're gonna start off with is the $500 package. These, This is gonna be the Bilstein 5100 package. You've heard all about them, you know about them. You can lift the front anywhere from zero to two inches and the rear will accommodate anywhere from a zero to one inch lift. However, I've gone away with using them on a two and a half inch lift. So they work just fine for when I was using it at that size lift. And I'm very happy with the 5100s for the price. You can set the clip at a different notch. So the first notch, second notch, third notch will all yield different lift results. I recommend keeping it at the fourth clip if you're an access cab, 4x4 with a transfer case, and fifth clip if you're a double cab V6. So the rear is going to be lifted with the Wheeler's off-road Adelief system. It lifts the rear 1.5 inches. It's a great Adelief for the price. It's not very that expensive and it will lift the rear and help match it to what the front will look like if you set it at 2 inches. This is pretty much level to me. I think the rear might be a little bit higher, but I think this is an Adelief in the rear. So just imagine your truck looking like that, and that's what it's going to look like. The only thing that I've noticed about these Adelief systems is that they may make your ride just a little bit firmer, and they're not that great for carrying weight, but that's not too big of a deal because they're gonna work and they're only 77 bucks. So if you switch them out to something else in the future, you can probably sell these and still get half your money back. The second package we're gonna talk about is the $1,000 budget suspension package, excuse me. This is a Bilstein 6112 strut and spring combo. So here are the struts, here are the springs and all the washers and top hats and everything. And then you're also gonna get rear Bilstein 5100 shocks. So it's gonna take the rear shocks from the first package but you're gonna upgrade your front shocks and you're also gonna get a separate set of springs so you don't have to take apart your set of springs. The good thing about these Bilstein 6112s is that these are a 2.5 inch diameter shock. They're actually really big and they ride better than the 5100s do on road and off road and they're more resistant to shock fade, which is a really good thing if you're doing a lot of dirt, overlanding, long trails, say like 50 miles of washboard, these are gonna be hold up a lot better compared to the 5100s. And for the rear, we're gonna use this Headstrong or you can go with an Icon Progressive 3-Leaf out of leaf system. So this one includes U-bolts, which is nice, it's 200 bucks. These are better at carrying weight than just a single out of leaf. And the good thing about these uh, Progressive out of leafs is that you can replace your overload leafs with them and you get a 1.5 inch of lift for only 200 bucks. And they work way better than an out leaf. So it's just something else to keep in mind. If you wanna cut on cost here, you can go back and use the uh, Wheeler's out leaf that I had in the $500 setup and you can save over 120 bucks. So just an idea for you, but the 6112 strut and spring combo plus this Headstrong Three leaf out of leaf system is going to be the best bet for under a thousand dollars. This one's going to come in at nine hundred eighty-four dollars and twenty-four cents. So that is my second recommendation for under a thousand dollars. My third recommendation for under fifteen hundred dollars is going to get a little bit better. It's going to still use that Bilstein six one one two strand spring combo with the rear fifty one hundreds right here. However, we're going to throw in a real leaf pack which is really nice. You're gonna get this old man heavy duty Dakar leaf pack. It's the EL096R. The reason I chose the heavy duty for this video is because the heavy duty leaf pack, you can literally remove this third, oh, 
you can remove the third spring or a third leaf from the top and it'll turn it into a light duty pack, which is the 95R that's for sale. And if you ever add more weight back in, just throw that leaf in there and bam, it's good to go. However, you could save more money and order the EL095R pack instead. And you'll save around, I think 60 or a hundred bucks, somewhere anywhere from 60 to hundred bucks, you'll save. These U-bolts are just for these Dakaras. You need longer U-bolts because this is a thick leaf pack compared to your stock one. So you're gonna need these longer U-bolts. You're also gonna need two sets. So two quantities of these bushing sets from Wheelers. So this is a 6112 Strut and Spring Combo, 5100 for the rear, heavy duty Dakaras for the rear. These are your U-bolts and you're gonna have your bushings. That is my $1,500 setup. Or if you wanna buy something and just have one huge package come in, bam, here you go. Old Man Emu complete suspension system for a 16 plus Tacoma. I have never used these OME, uh, these shocks right here, so I couldn't comment on them. However, these are the same leaf springs as I just showed you. These are the 96Rs back here, or you can choose the 95Rs and you'll save yourself a little bit of money. And I'm looking at wheelers off-road and you can change what front shock if you want it to ride firmer or softer. You can change the front coil option. And I believe these coils, 886, 887, 888, they will all have a different ride depending on which one you go with. And there is a chart that you can find online that will tell you which one does what. It might be something over here, but you guys can find that yourself. And the assembly, you can see they will fully assemble it for you or they'll come unassembled. So for 1282 or 1342, you can have a full setup and this is good to go. I've never tried this OME system. I can't comment on it. Can't comment on the shocks if they're good or not. I will say they're probably pretty similar to the 5100s and I think that my first $1,500 setup that I gave you guys is a lot better of a deal because you're gonna get those 6112s in the front. Moving on, the last package I put together is a $3,000 package and this is very similar to what I run. This is AccuTune Off-Road, I talked about them in the last video and these are the King Shocks for a Tacoma 05 Plus, the Extended Travel Shocks. From AccuTune, you'll be able to have your shocks tuned for you. So you can see this whole section right here, your front chassis weight, rear chassis weight, shock tuning stage, you can pick. I would probably put not sure and describe your driving style below if they don't have it. And this is a $200 value that you're getting and you're really only paying, I think maybe 80 or 90 bucks more. I think the, the average price of Kings are 15, 19. So $1,519, this isn't much more and they come pre-tuned for you. It says right here, requires aftermarket upper control arms. Don't worry, we got that covered. These are SBC upper control arms. I love my SBC upper control arms. I have them in position E right now and I clear my 35s like it's nothing. Great, great upper control arm. And then we're gonna have these 96R heavy duty leaf springs again. These are gonna pop up. This is almost exactly what I run. We're gonna have the leaf spring U-bolts and we're also gonna have the Bilstein B110 rear shocks. These are exactly what I run. And you'll see it says, you'll see it says for an 05 Tacoma with four inches of rear lift. So if pretty much if you run this leaf spring setup, you can run these rear shocks. That's the best way I can describe it. Or if you run maybe one less leaf in here, so you'll have the 95R, you should be fine getting away without bottoming out these Bilstein B110s, but I can't confirm that for you. So for this $3,000 setup, it's gonna come out to $2,932 in total. This is almost exactly what I run, and it's honestly not that expensive for what you're getting. The Kings up front are gonna feel a lot better than the Bilstein 5100s and the 6112s. The remote reservoir, you're gonna have a lot longer um, 
duration that you can be driving on dirt or gravel without having that shock fade come. They are better shocks. They are rebuildable, which is also nice. So after 30, 40,000 miles of using them, you have to get them rebuilt, which does suck. And it's another expense to keep in mind. So some people might be better off with the Bilsteins because they don't have to rebuild them. They can just throw it away and buy another one. But those are all the packages I put together for you guys. And I think these are really, really fair packages. So to review, we have the 5100s in the front, rear Adelief for the $500 system. Then we're gonna have the 6112s with the 5100s in the rear with the three leaf Adelief. And we'll also have on the $1,500 setup, we'll have the 6112s, heavy duty Dakars, U-bolts and the leaf springs bushing set. The fifth system is just this ARB or the old man emu complete system. And we'll have the $3,000 setup. That's going to have the Kings, the Bilstein B110s, SBC upper control arms, and whatnot. So you'll notice in the video, I didn't really talk about adding upper control arms to any of the other setups. And that's because I really don't think it's needed. I don't think that at a two inch lift, you're going to need uppers to correct any alignment issues because the lift really isn't high enough. You'll also see I didn't add extended brake lines in the last in the last budget $3,000 setup, and you definitely should add extended brake lines to any of these setups. Extended brake lines going to stainless is a much needed upgrade. It also helps with your stopping pedal feel and your stopping power just a tad bit because the lines don't expand. So if you have extra change here or there, I highly recommend you throw it at some little things like brake lines or a U-bolt fit flip kit plate or a new um, Wheeler Super Bumps or Timber and Bump Stops for the front or the rear of your Tacoma. There's a ton of different things that you can do and check out. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And then I'm sorry that the style is like this where you, all you see is my screen top monitor. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.